We'll guide you through how to set up PS or PlayStation Remote Play on your PC. If you find this guide useful, consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's get into this. So it's important to note that you do need to own a PlayStation 5 for this to work, and you will need it to initially set it up. After we've set it up though, you can then go and play Remote Play anywhere with a connection to the internet. So what you need to do is open up a browser on your computer and type in PS Remote Play, just like this. Click on PS Remote Play like this, and this will take us to the main page. And all you want to do is scroll down. You can read the info about it, but I'm sort of going through most of it until you see the downloads and come to Windows PC and Mac, then tap on Windows PC and Mac download, hit the download button, tap on Windows PC, and then we can go and install the app. So you need to agree to this stuff here. I've read it before and I agree to it, so I'll press download. After it's downloaded, close off your browser and you can open up the file explorer, then go to downloads and then tap on remote play installer, double click on it. You'll go and get a Windows security pop-up. Unfortunately, I can't go and record that. And then what you want to do is in this window, go and choose your language. I'll press okay. And it's then gonna do some downloads, just wait for it. We've now got this installer here, so I'll just go through it. You can choose where it's installed, then you can tap install and it will begin. It won't take long at all, and you can then select launch the program, hit finish, and it will then automatically launch. If it doesn't automatically launch, then just go and press on the shortcut, or you can search for it on your computer as well, and then tap on sign into PSN like this and then go and type in your account details. Of course, make sure you use the same account as you use on your PS5. After you've signed in, it'll go and disappear, and then we can go and have some options here. You can go and do these for your personal choice. I just go and set them up like that. Then you want to go and choose PS5, as that's what we're connecting. And then it says before connecting your PS5, we need to go and do this stuff here. Let's go and do it. On our PS5, we need to head to our settings. So on your remote, go and tap on the up joystick like this and go over to the right and make sure settings is highlighted and open them up. Then what you want to do is scroll down to system and in system, go down to remote play and make sure enable remote play has been turned on like that. If you're struggling to go and turn it on, it's likely because this PS5 isn't your primary one. To make it your primary PS5, all you need to do is go out of system, go into users and accounts here, and then go down to other and go into console sharing and offline play and make sure it's enabled. As you can see, it already is for me, but if yours isn't, tap enable. So I'll press don't disable because I want to keep it enabled. And then you can go back. And then of course you can go and turn on your remote play. And once your remote play is turned on, then go into power saving and you want to tap on features available in rest mode and you need to turn on stay connected to the internet and after you turn that on turn on enable turning on ps5 from network because it then says you can turn on your ps5 remotely using the playstation app or remote play so now we can head back the one final thing you need to do is leave your ps5 in rest mode to do that you press on the playstation button on your remote and then go down and go over to the power on the right click there and then tap on enter rest mode. After you've done that, then go and press okay, and it will then say searching for connections via the internet, and you can just wait. It will then say linking your PS5 and checking the network. Just keep waiting. Just like that, PS Remote Play will then load. Now, as you can see, it looks quite blurry. Just keep waiting. It will take a moment for it to sort of properly connect, but it will ultimately depend upon your connection and, and your speed of the internet. Just like that, it's now got much clearer. So at the bottom, you can go and use the controls here. But what I like to do is go and connect my PS5 controller to my PC. You can connect your PS5 controller just by using the cable that it came with with your PS5, which is just a charging cable. And then as you can see here's my controller and I can then go and use it it's that simple so we can now go and get into a game for example let's get into Fortnite I'll go and tap on play game like so and there is one thing to note and that is there will be a slight latency and what I mean by that is that sort of when you actually do something on your controller there may be a slight delay and your latency will depend on your connection to the internet but it hopefully won't be too bad and ultimately if it's really bad you can always go and play some non-competitive games if you found this useful then please leave a like